In this TikTok video, a woman who claims to have a PhD says the coronavirus vaccines aren't new, that they were first developed for the SARS epidemic in 2002. We stopped doing a lot of research on these vaccines. This is not new technology. These are not new vaccines. I need you to stop all of you. Let's verify. Did the current COVID-19 vaccines come from the vaccines developed to fight SARS? Our sources are Dr. William Moss, a vaccines expert from Johns Hopkins University, and Dr. William Schaffner, an infectious diseases expert from Vanderbilt University. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, there were two other coronavirus outbreaks that got international attention. In 2002, it was SARS, and in 2012, it was MERS. Yeah, they were both coronaviruses, and in both epidemics, drug companies created vaccines. Two went into uh, phase one trials, that early step in vaccine development for safety and dosage, um, and then basically it ended. Why? Well, both experts say the viruses weren't as deadly and the epidemics were contained. But that technology was the beginning of studies, scientific studies, that led to the technology that we are using today for the COVID vaccine. Here is where the video is wrong. Yes, the Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca vaccines use a technology that was developed for SARS and MERS, but the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines do not. I do think that experience in developing, you know, vaccines against SARS coronavirus and MERS um, really helped lay the groundwork for uh, for our own, you know, SARS coronavirus two vaccines now. But we wouldn't have had a COVID vaccine, and I don't think we could have gotten a COVID vaccine any sooner than we did now. So the video is a bit misleading. Yes, the research and technology from the SARS and MERS vaccines went into our current vaccines, but they aren't the same vaccines. And both of our experts really wanted us to stress that even if the SARS and the MERS vaccines had gone all the way to approval, they don't believe it would have helped at all during this pandemic because while they're all coronaviruses, yes, SARS, MERS, and the virus that causes COVID-19, they're all different viruses and different viruses require different vaccines in terms of the actual genetic structure. I hope I made that clear. With your Verify, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you. you sure